fam. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shirley, if you're new here. And as I always say, if you are new here, why not become a part of the family? Because she needs you here. She really do. Mm -hmm. So today's video is going to be the palette tag. Um, I saw Kami do a video on it. And I Love Beauty too. she did a video on it. And this is my version of the palette tag. I don't know who created it, but thumbs up to that person. So the first thing I'm going to say is that I have a total. I'm looking down because I got little notes. The, I have a total of 36 palettes, not including any single shades. I may have 30 or 40 single shades that is not in a palette. And this is in no particular order. I just have a little notes on them, and I'm going to go from that. I'm going to start with my smallest palette. This is my smallest palette, and it is by Lancome. There's some pretty, I think I might have used this once. I think, I don't know, on a video. I know I've used it, but I don't know as I use it on a video. Beautiful purples. And I should go to my largest one. This has the most shades in it, and it's, it's by Sephora. And I remember when I purchased this one, it was $69. But I got something to tell Sephora about this palette. So here's the shades in this one. And these are cheek blush, and these are lip gloss. Don't put that lip gloss in here with these shadows. If you do, put a little little lid over them or something, because the dust from the shadow gets all on it, and then you don't use it. But I remember purchasing this palette from Sephora, and it was $69. And I didn't even use it that much. So this is my largest palette, the most shade palettes. Oh, too many things. And then I'm gonna go with my, I was looking for that, most expensive palette. And I know somebody looking for Morphe or somebody like, no. I don't even have a Morphe palette. That's one thing, I don't have a Morphe palette. But this is also, I'm trying to see where you can see me cover it. Oh no, let me get something to cover. This is my most expensive and it is by Sephora Pro. And I spent $74 on this palette. And it has a lot of neutrals and browns. And this is the colors that I mainly was mainly into. I'm trying to branch out, but this is the palette I bought. And this is the most expensive palette I had bought. It's, it, it, it wasn't on sale, so she spent $74 on this palette. Have she spent that much again? Nope. Now she waits for some sales, sometimes. Some things I don't. If I really, really want it, I just get it. And my most memorable palette is the Naked by Urban Decay. This is the first one that they came out with. And my daughter bought it for me. Cause she was like, mom, why don't you buy palettes? And you could tell I really loved it. I used it up, I used a lot of it up. I still have things that I can use, but this is most my most memorable one because my daughter bought it. She introduced me to palettes. And this one is my very first palette that I purchased. And it's Too Faced Sweet Peach. And do you know it still smells like peaches? And I really really use this one up <laughs> i love this palette but i wish i could get this these shades here in a palette by themselves look at that pretty purple mm. 
collection. This is my first palette that I ever purchased. Because I, like I said, I always just purchase um, singles. And I want to also include the first palette I bought for YouTube for the purpose of using it on YouTube. And that was Perception by Shayla X. And it's the ColourPop collab she did, the very first one. This is the first palette I bought to actually do a YouTube video on. And I love her palette. I really like, like, like this palette by ColourPop for Shayla. The first, her first collab with them. So I'm taking the stickers off as I go so I don't pick them up again. And my, to me, one of my best purchase that I absolutely love this palette and I don't know how much I like the company like I don't have much company I only have one other palette made by this company I think but it's Jackie Ina palette by Anastasia of Beverly Hills I really love this palette the pigmentation in this is supreme the names, I can't hardly say, but this is a really, this was worth my $59 and it wasn't on sale when I bought it. I paid full price of $59 for this palette and I love it. I reach for this palette more than I reach for any other palette that I have right now. I love this palette. Love it. Love it. Love, love it. So which palette I love? Jackie Ina palette. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and next in line, I want to show two, my smallest, most expensive palette. And this is the Pat McGrath Lab. It has four shades in it, and I spent $49 for it. Mm -hmm. But I think it came with three little tiny lipstick. So Pat McGrath is the smallest, most expensive one I have. Mm -hmm. And the most cheapest one I got was from Revlon. And it's four. And you can see neutrals. And one other one I bought, and she can flip over. I love it. This palette by um patricia bright from revolution i think it was worth the hype is this it worth the hype i love it i really do love this palette by her only thing i was disappointed in is i spent 25 dollars for it because i bought it when it first came out and then somebody told me in my comments that they went to sephora and it was on not sephora alta and it was on sale for eight dollars with some discount she had but she got it for eight dollars but this i love this palette and i think this is one of the ones with the first with a lot of bright colors for me and i wanted to show palettes that i got in my subscription box that i love and that was from boxy charm pure festival I like this palette. I don't use those glitter ones, but all the other shades are so pigmented and they are so, they're beautiful on your eyes. I love this Pure Festival palette. Love using it and it came in my Boxy Charm. These uh, two other palettes came in my Boxy Charm too and it's Ace Beauty. Oh, <laughs> these pigments in this, these his palettes, this Ace Beauty, I recently got this one. But look at the shade, and they're so beautiful. And they're very pigmented. I love these that came in my boxy charm. I reach for them again and again. And then, what is? And finally, I'm going to show you my newest palettes are, I showed in a previous video, is Naked. 
honey. Mm, mm. Let me open it. The packaging. The packaging alone is so pretty to me. It's so pretty. Look at those colors in this honey. Mm, 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 mm. I love those colors. Now, will I know it? No. I haven't did any looks with them yet. And then my Juvia's Place palette. The Zulu, the Festival, and Warrior 2. Those are my favorite. Those are my new. These, Those was my new palettes I just purchased. And that's why I'm saying I'm not buying any more palettes. So that is my palette tag. And that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is that true? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Sixteen, if I count this, seventeen palettes from my thirty-six palettes that meant something to me. And I just want to thank you guys for watching my video. And if you're new here and you have made it to the end, I would like you to subscribe, like, and comment and become a part of this great family. Mm -hmm. See you in my next upload.